As a Hong Konger, the sea is at the center of my favorite memories and a constant backdrop in my daily life. It's easy to take it for granted when it's always been a part of the city's culture. My work as a journalist has brought me all over the world and has made me realize just how vulnerable the ocean is. The ocean seems vast, but we are filling it with ever-increasing amounts of waste, toxins, and plastic. Harry Chan has dedicated his life to removing discarded fishing gear from the sea. How much do we know about the extent of the ghost net problem? It's an outdated statistic, or you call it data. There's almost 640,000 tons per year. Same problem all over Hong Kong. We have 260 islands. The shore are surrounded by marine trash, and some even three times the size of this boat. Almost all life in the ocean are affected by ghost net. Whales, dolphins, crabs, fish, everything. There's nothing that Hong Kongers love more than a sumptuous seafood meal. Hong Kong, out of any city, should appreciate the bounty that the sea can provide when it's healthy. Hong Kong is famous for its fishing industry, but fewer people know about the long tradition of oyster farming. Just across the bay from the towering skyscrapers of Shenzhen, the shore is dotted with oyster farms. As oyster farmers, you're very sensitive to environmental problems and environmental change, it seems like. Uh the ocean has given us so much. If we don't take care of it, we'll be losing not just a vital resource, but a part of ourselves. But I'm hopeful after meeting so many people fighting for our oceans and our heritage. The ocean is what made Hong Kong so special. Now it's our turn to give back to it.